Today we're going to be looking at the Casio FX82ZA Plus 2 and the stats mode. You need to go to the stats mode, so you push mode, and you choose number 2, stat. Bring it up a menu with 8 options. Let us have a look at the question. The following data represents distances a ball is thrown by several different students. If you look at the data, you can see it's a single variable. So we need to select one, which is a single variable. If we look at the data, you'll also notice that some of it occurs more than once. In other words, it has a frequency greater than one. We need to then have a frequency table as well. So to do that, you go Shift, Setup, down a screen, and you choose number three, Stat. And we'll turn the frequency column on. Now we can enter the data. 14, 14 equals... 20 equals, you can see they both have frequencies of 1. 25 equals, we know that 25 has a frequency of 3. So we need to move up the 25 and across into the frequency column. And we will then enter 3 equals. We need to move back to the data column and continue to enter our data. 26 equals 15 equals 21 equals 24 equals 32 equals 22 equals. Here again, we see that 22 occurs twice. So we need to go up and across and give it a frequency of 2 equals. Once we've entered all the data, we press AC. This stores the data onto the calculator. Let us have a look at the questions. Find the sum of the distances. You press Shift, Edit, and another menu appears, and there you see number 3, the sum. So you select 3. We're not wanting sum squared, we are wanting sum. So you select 2 equals 271, that is the sum of our data. Clear the screen. Number B, how many students took part? There again, we need to press shift and number 1. We're talking about a variable, so we select Number four. There again, there's a menu. N, the first one, is the number of students. The second one is the standard deviation. Sorry, the mean, and that is the standard deviation number three. So we select one equals. And we have 12 students. Clear the screen. Number C, calculate the mean. Of the distances. Shift stat. It's a variable, so we go to 4. Number 2 is the mean, so we select 2 equals, and that is the mean of the data. Clear the screen. Number D, find the standard deviation. Shift stat. It is a variable, so we select 4. And the standard deviation is number 3 equals, and there's our standard deviation. Clear the screen. The last one, the minimum and maximum values. There again, we press shift, stat. And number 5, min max, select 5. And you have an option here. Let us have a look at the minimum values. So you select 1 equals 
and it's 14. And if you look at the data, you will see that 14 is the minimum value. Just to recap, we need to go to the stat mode and then we can enter the data. If you have any queries or questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you.